We want to address a Huffington Post article from this weekend about ABC News Senior Vice President of Talent and Business Affairs, Barbara Fadita. The article cited unnamed sources claiming that Fadita made racist and derogatory comments about several members of staff. Here's a statement from ABC News Management. There are deeply disturbing allegations in the story that we need to investigate, and we have placed Barbara Fadita on administrative leave while we conduct a thorough and complete investigation. These allegations do not represent values and culture of ABC News, where we strive to make everyone feel respected in a thriving, diverse, and inclusive workplace. Barbara Fadita also released this statement. I'm proud of my decades of work hiring, supporting, and promoting talented journalists of color. And unlike these heartbreaking and incredibly misleading claims about me, that track record is well documented and undeniable. Now, one of her alleged statements uh, is, mentions you, Sonny. Anything you want to say or need to say? Yeah, I think I should say something. Um, it was a tough weekend for me, and I was really disappointed and saddened and hurt when I learned about the racist comments that were made, allegedly, about me, my colleagues, and my dear friends. Because if true, um, to reference Robin Roberts, who is one of the most respected and beloved journalists in our country, as picking cotton, to reference me, someone who's been very open about having grown up in public housing, as being low rent, to reference Candace Gibson, who is, was my office mate at ABC and now is an MSNBC anchor, to say that he isn't worth paying as much as ABC would pay for toilet paper, the fact that Mara Schiavoncampo, who is a friend and a former colleague at ABC, the fact that she has an NDA in place and can't talk about her experiences at ABC, tells me that systemic racism touches everything and everyone in our society, regardless of social stature. No one is immune. Um, it's the type of racism that black people deal with every single day, and it has to stop. And I look forward to the results of what I hear is going to be an independent external investigation. And I felt very loved and supported by my colleagues. Um, I felt supported by all of you. I know Megan and I had a, at least an hour conversation this weekend, Whoopi, you were so supportive. Joy, you were so supportive. My executive producers on the show were so supportive. Um, and I thank you all for that. But again, this has got to stop. Um, and I just look forward to changes, if all of this is true, here at ABC and just in our country. Joy, anything you want to add? I'm very sorry that Sonny's been hurt by this. As she said, we stick with our girls, where we support each other. Um, I think it's great that ABC is doing a, an intensive investigation. This type of thing has to be rooted out. And um, we'll see what happens. That's all I have to add to what you already said. How about you, Megan? Look, I echo what everyone's saying about an independent investigation. Um, look, all of us have zero tolerance for any kind of racism or intolerance, period. Sunny and I did have a long conversation this weekend. She's in a lot of pain, and <coughs> I am disgusted by these allegations, as everyone is. And I just want to make one thing really clear. There's a lot of people that say a lot of things about these hosts and this show and the press, but when you attack one of us, you're attacking all of us. And I stand and support Sunny throughout all of this in any way that you need. And I stand and support my colleagues at ABC who have been attacked like this. And again, we don't know the answer to it, but this is a really hard time in our country, and I think hitting this close to home and in, in this show that we have really been good soldiers through, throughout the pandemic, throughout the political season, throughout all this, this one's a tough blow. Well, it is a tough one. Do you have something to say? And I have to, yeah, I'm about to say it. Uh, I, you know, 
I know Barbara Fedita, and I'm, I don't think she's a racist. I, everything I know about her doesn't say that she has this in her. But I will say that one of the things that everyone should always make sure we say, and I say it all the time, is let's find out. Yeah. Let's find out, because if it's true, she's gone. But if it's not, let's find out what's going on. And, and an independent investigation is what this needs. Because, you know, the days of systemic racism are ending. Those walls are coming down, and we're pulling them down. So I feel like having lived through this kind of thing where someone accused me of doing something I didn't do, I'm always, I'm always first and foremost to say, okay, let's find out what really is the truth. And once we find out what the truth is, we'll deal with it. Because nobody can deal with this anymore. There's too much stuff happening in the world, no reason for anybody to be in this kind of pain. So all you racists out there, we know you. We know you. And if you turn out to be in the walls of the building, we're tearing the building down. You're coming out.